read that we are tracking Tibetan spiritual leader Dalai Lama has landed in Jammu and Kashmir. Remember, this is his first trip outside of his base in Dharamshala since the start of the pandemic. He spoke about China, saying that the people of the nation aren't against him as they know he's not a separatist. He went on to say that all he wants is autonomy and for the Tibetan culture to be preserved. When asked about Kashmir, he went on to say, and I'd like to quote, it's complicated, I don't know, end quote. Dalai Lama's visit comes ahead of the 16th India-China Corps Commando level talks that are scheduled to take place this weekend. His visit also comes in the backdrop of the military standoff between India and China at the line of actual control. He's slated to visit Ladakh tomorrow. The Chinese, not Chinese people, uh, some Chinese hardliner, they consider me splitist and reactionary. So always criticize me. Uh, but now more and more Chinese now realize Dalai Lama uh, not seeking independence. Uh, but within China, within people's world of China, uh, meaningful autonomy and Tibetan Buddhist culture preserved. Let me bring in my colleague uh, Abhishek, who is now joining us uh, on the broadcast. Abhishek, first visit of the Dalai Lama post the pandemic started. First, talk to us about the broader sense of the significance of this visit. Also, Rizma, this holds a lot of significance, especially in the wake of India-China border standoff that we are witnessing for the last two years. We have seen so many uh, rounds of diplomatic ops talking to each other and senior military commanders sitting together and trying to discuss the issues of concern and issues of friction and how the disengagement can be proceeded. Uh, however, this, has, uh, this is still uh, a process that is still underway and the uh, completed disengagement is something still that both sides are trying to wish for. Uh, meanwhile, uh, in, the, in this uh, scenario, uh, Dalai Lama, though he is a spiritual leader, he is uh, considered uh, a very respected leader, is revered across the group by various faction, various sections of people. However, a uh, Chinese establishment considers him as a person who has been involved in anti-China activity and a separatist. Uh, Dalai Lama himself uh, in, in one of the rare occasions that he speaks about his china Tibet policy and all the controversy. He himself has said that he is not a separatist. He is a person who wants the autonomy of Tibet uh, under China, but that autonomy to have uh, the, the heritage of Buddhism, the culture of Buddhism, so that they could preserve it. And the, Buddhism and the, all the sect or the people uh, who follow Buddhism uh, there, they have a right to preserve it. They have a right, uh, rightfully, they want to uh, have it and conserve it for the future generation, okay. which they think that Chinese uh, uh, occupation uh, on Tibet uh, is not allowing them to have. Uh, this is something that uh, Dalai Lama has said currently. And uh, from tomorrow onwards, he'll be visiting Ladakh. Ladakh uh, will be the probably the one of the reasons where China and India are having border tussle and uh, China always reacts to uh, senior uh, government authorities or the dignitaries visiting to places okay. where it is having a border trip with India, be it in Arunachal Pradesh or Ladakh. So probably the Dalai Lama's visit to Ladakh is also going to attract some undue uh, attention from the Chinese side and we'll have to see how the Chinese side reacts on the developments. Okay. Abhishek, thanks a lot for getting us all those details.